Everything in this video is literally a conspiracy theory made for fun <laughs> and is not meant to be taken seriously. I know people make these discretions just for legal reasons, but I'm being dead ass here. This is all a joke and I'll be making fun of it for the whole video. I have so many fun theories in this video because I love delving into schizophrenic shit that people post. I'll just start off with Andrew Tate being CIA conspiracy theory. Well, for one, his dad was CIA. My father worked for the CIA, he was a linguist. A ling- what's that? A linguist, he spoke five languages. Myself. So his dad being CIA is okay, fine. But a lot of people also think that he could have pursued his dad's work as well, because why not? This is the logo of the United States Army's Psychological Operations Branch. A lot of you might know where I'm going with this and be like, no way. And here is the logo of Tate's real world program where he teaches you how to make money get girls etc etc oh yeah also here is him in front of a card that says tate spy also that he is a freemason since the freemason logo looks like this and he calls himself the top g and does this with his hands you might think he's just doing this spy shit because he likes to role play as james bond which is probably true but the logos match and him being a foreign agent is not that far off to be honest even though this is just a fun conspiracy theory since this also happened. We are Russian agents. Russia. That can't be a rumor. Russian. No, no, that's a rumor. In fact, for all of the Romanians watching, the former president of Romania, after the police came to our house that time, entertained the fact on live Romanian television that we may be Russian agents sent to make the country of Romania look bad. Not only that, but for foreigners, getting a visa to Russia is extremely hard. Nearly no foreigner has access to Russia because of its strict visa laws for Westerners. And Tate and his brother have been to Russia several times and have been in support of Russia's war for Ukraine. Being for any war is a fucking disgrace in my opinion. Why would you like to live in peace when you could just die for some politicians? It's literally gay. You're out here risking your life for another male. I understand people defending their own countries like Ukraine where they just get invaded out of fucking nowhere and it's kill be killed but yeah going out of your way to support another male invading another male is kind of homosexual behavior if you ask me you're like oh i like this male better and i hope he successfully goes inside another male like i bro the only straight way to do that is by watching ufc where i get to cheer for my favorite sexy strong man to dominate another sexy strong man get them on the ground and start getting so sweaty with each other. This is a heterosexual sport. My favorite one was when a Georgian guy was fighting a Russian guy and the Georgian dude said that if he had lost to the Russian guy, he probably would have killed himself. <laughs> Same. VPNs are important because you can access whatever website your dystopian government blocks you from viewing. For example, this is Instagram in Leaf Country, and here is mine. You see, when the government does whatever they want with what you can see and cannot see, reminds me of a very personal, very certain thing my parents went through. Trust me, I have hands on experience with this. My dad had to illegally sneak in Queen CDs in Georgia to listen to Freddie Mercury. The internet is literally the last thing left for information. While that information may be false sometimes because of misinformation, it is still vital to me that I see every side of the story. Certain places in the world are becoming more and more dystopian with their internet use because the internet is where people get all their information from. So if your country decides to hop on this bandwagon taking you with them, you can just drop off by using Atlas VPN. If you told a dude from 1984 he could escape for just $1.70 a month and he would get 6 months extra and a 30 day money back guarantee and it's all across all his devices, trust me he would love to take that deal. Atlas VPN is having this Black Friday deal so be sure not to miss out. Of course another benefit of VPNs is that you can just google anything and do anything you want because you'll be protected and search everything without tracking your activity. You can enjoy the most affordable online protection for just $1.70 a month and 6 months extra and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. I think this is a pretty good deal to be honest, $1.70 a month is literally worth nothing in any country. Like I want to buy a water at a stand in Paris and the dude told me 2.5 euros. Like alright bro, thank you Atlas VPN for sponsoring my video, I will give my editor a treat of some good khachapuri instead of dog food as I usually do. But you might have a question like, why would the feds be fed posting and posting fed bait on the internet? Well, a major reason of it is to catch and identify extremists to prevent some bullshit from happening. Because yeah, anti s 40 
FDA. Living in the United States and owning guns, replying to your Fed bait is a major indication of someone that needs to be put on a watch list. You know, strangely, these alpha male motherfuckers have backgrounds somehow relating to federal agencies. Imagine a skinny black male in his 40s that's an undercover cop and comes up to you dressed like what he thinks drug users look like to buy drugs from you. Okay, now that you have that picture in your head, I'm willing to bet that you imagine the person that looks exactly like this. Why are women being so fucking difficult? I was told to be a nice guy. I was told to be a gentleman. I did everything right. Why did she still leave me? You might recognize him from the world-renowned Fresh and Fit podcast. World-renowned for being the worst podcast in the entire world that promotes only hatred of women and masks it with, Oh, we just want the world to be more fair to men. Men have it hard. You have to work out and get rich and then you can have all the bitches you want. All these women are whores. They will all cheat on you. There is no God left. There is no God left, guys. God is dead and women killed him. This is the type of shit these people are on about. First First of all, we as men, we really don't have it as hard as women. Ooh. And no, I'm not trying to get sympathy pussy from this. I'm just being real here. As a man, you can just make money and play video games and you'll be set for life. As dating goes, if people feel safe around you, you will get people to date. Women aren't all whores, they're not a billion of those little dark age edits can convince me. As a man, you really have to worry about two things, going outside and making money, fitness optional as long as you're healthy and you can guarantee you will have a good life as a woman you're basically out for two weeks out of a month because your hormones are fucking you up you're bleeding for a for like a week out of those two weeks you carry a baby for nine months and then push it out for hours to the point where sometimes the skin between your and vagina and it needs to be medically cut so the baby can come out and in that time you have to pray to god that your man doesn't cheat on you and one in ten men cheat on their pregnant wives and you have to worry about all the things guys have to worry about such as going outside making money and staying fit and attractive so to hear these fucking neanderthals bring out or bring only fans models on their podcast and yell see see guys all the women are whores see is an embarrassment to the human race also this guy is a cop you know Recently, they they dug up things and and they've been saying that y'all are like y'all work with the feds, like y'all are agents, like cops. Oh man. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I, I don't shy from that at all. I was a former special agent, Homeland Security Investigations. I did federal investigations from 2010 to 2020. I became an agent in 2013. And I was an intern prior to that. Now, you guys know that me and the Georgian police, we don't have a specifically great relationship with each other, you know? I am, like, on the front lines, right? I'm right there. I'm, I'm, I'm like, nearly fucking looking at this police's soul, bro. And they, <laughs> and they fucking... And they throw a tear gas grenade right at my feet, bro. I'm like, ah, hell nah. And at that point... Both of us were converted. We were like, A cab, all cops are bastards. I'm gonna flip over a fucking cop car right now. I'm not gonna judge him just because he's a cop. I'm judging him because he writes whole ass books about why women deserve less. President Biden, the young Americans are not into bombing Arabs anymore. Recruitment is at an all time historic low. What can we do? A. Give them another Camaro. B. Convince them there are cute girls in the military that they can be with. C. Get the propaganda department to make more little dark age military edits for TikTok. D. Ba ba ba. Oh, I'm gonna go with a B. Fed, 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 fed. This is not even a hot take that this girl is a propaganda tool used by the US Army. Even she jokes that she's a psyop, but like, she is actually a psyop. I at least have a respect for her honesty because she sort of doesn't hide it. If you go on her LinkedIn page, it literally says psychological operations specialist. She literally has a TikTok where she's like, oh guys, the holiday season is approaching. Would you like $50,000 of free money for Christmas? Go to Lunchbag Luhan and then and then you go there and it's the enlistment website for the US Army. Like, all right, bro. And the US Army is not the only one that does it. Another one that is guilty of it, this is the Israeli Army. But arguably, both the IDF and the US Army are the same when it comes to their policy about civilians. I just don't understand why kids these days don't want to get shipped off somewhere to die for us politicians. It just doesn't make sense to me. We fed them the lies. It's these video games. Kids these days actually want to enjoy life instead of dying in the Middle East. Back in my day, people would happily go to war with some rice farmers. This generation is ruined. Listen, I got this video idea when I was sick and saw an Instagram reel about it, so I thought it would be fun for everyone. 
First of all, I'm like 90% sure this dude is a fed. I went like Doctor Strange, I explored every other possible opportunity, and there is no fucking way this man is not a fed. The schizo posting only made me think that he was a fed. What got me convinced is that he made a YouTube video, and this is what it's like. This documentary takes this information and tries to lead you down a Jewish and New Age path of universal love, as well as how the Nazis are supposedly evil and working with the Illuminati. As such, I've taken the liberty to edit out some of these obnoxious incorrect pieces of misinformation. The text to speech is a dead giveaway. Worst fed bait of all time. FBI fired this man. Oops, never mind, actually, he got one. The feds got him. How could drunken sailor 14 not know this was fed bait. To understand fed bait, you have to understand who these people are targeting. So what a lot of these dude talks about is just targeting white supremacists and the quote unquote conspiracy theory about where some Greek dude once wrote mythology about a land where all the white people come from. I personally assume it's Lithuania. <laughs> <laughs> and the <laughs> just went with it, thinking that there was a mythical land where all the white people came from, and also they were aliens, and also somehow Antarctica is involved, and also that his <laughs> was possessed by its collective unconscious and could not help obeying the commands of an inner voice, and also that he was a demigod which he heard collective unconscious of white people, and that he was just a spiritual embodiment of it. He was literally just some Austrian dude, bro. Come on. So basically, all this dude posts about is this one Greek myth and some other like schizo conspiracy theories holocaust denial like you can't just go there and see for yourself but hey i guess i'm asking too much of these people to go outside you know like you guys know that you, you can just fly to poland if you're european for like 20 dollars and see auschwitz right like to like the tour is cheap everything is cheap like i've been there myself and just like see everything for yourself and also the earth is much bigger than what the elites tell us and it's flat and that there's a huge ice wall surrounding our current continent and once you go out of it there's a whole new populated world waiting to be discovered say what you want about the schizos but they got impeccable lore crafting abilities i'm glad more people are understanding the art of fed bait because yeah i saw another comment that calls it out fed post worst bait ever bait for what asked to leave fbi this dude also thinks the truman show is literally him like yeah bro everything in the world is actually about you you are here to find the mythical land of white people aliens and governments are hiding the rest of the world from you and there are people living inside the earth you know what the truman show is you why don't you go and try getting in front of an upcoming bus like truman did the bus will stop and so will all the upcoming cars and you will realize everything is actually about you but seriously instagram and tiktok have contributed to too much mental illness in the world where people that promote shit like this can find each other and reach new audiences because yeah this dude gets an audience and then starts posting about how voting will not remove non-white people and now we finally come to what this dude actually wants just a or most likely a fed targeting because you have to understand that these people are mentally ill there's a reason why 80 percent of all mass shootings are related to white supremacists these people are mentally ill and extremists and extremism is bad because it warps your worldview into you being isolated and you thinking shit like this 100 percent of these people could be saved by getting a girlfriend i can guarantee that seeing the world by yourself and maybe traveling to different countries to see everything will lead you to think yeah, you know, all those schizophrenics on the internet, they were capping. Yeah, I don't know, I'm tired of talking about this. I think conspiracy theories are fun when you don't actually believe in them. Like, yeah, everyone knows this bigger earth thing would be very cool, but there is not a huge ice wall surrounding us, sadly, as much fun as it would be. It just gets annoying when people who need to go outside and talk with other humans start believing in them and trying to convince you to believe in it too. Even Wendigon has talked about these conspiracy theories in his conspiracy theory iceberg, but I still don't understand how it goes from oh the earth is actually flat and bigger to white people are better and they're aliens motherfucker like yeah everyone believes in some conspiracy theories okay like government bad but unironically believing in shit that i showed you in this video requires you going outside and getting out of your bubble because it's very easy to make schizophrenic video edits and schizo conspiracy theories you can literally make it anything like how the world is run by people from tibet or some shit right i can be way more schizophrenic than you for example to prove that anyone can link anything to anything somehow and make it sound reasonable as a conspiracy theory i've made my own conspiracy theory about how georgians run the world roll it
Historically, Georgians have always ran the world. Throughout the past 200 years, the effect of this small nation has had tremendous consequences. Somehow, always being at the top of important businesses and hierarchies. We'll start with the most popular one, Stalin. Real name, Yosef Djurashvili, was a Georgian who led the USSR to commit insane amounts of crimes against humanity and tear up Eastern Europe to this day. The SS also had a battalion of Georgians fighting for Germany, which is why World War II is also referred to as the first Georgian civil war. Germany's funny mustache man leader classified Georgians as and they were initially liked by the leader. Abu Omar al-Shishani, better known by his birth name, Tarkhaz Batirashvili, had pledged allegiance to the Georgian armed forces, serving as a sergeant, and then the Islamic State, ISIS, being one of the main commanders of ISIS until his death in 2016. Around this time, Georgia was helping out NATO in the Iraq war, being one of the biggest countries per capita to deploy its troops in the Middle East to help the United States, which is why we're gonna refer to the Iraq war as the second Georgian civil war from now on. Balenciaga, the number one designer brand in the world, is ran by a Georgian, Demna Gvasalia. Kanye West, on Alex Jones' show, getting cancelled, was wearing the legendary jacket made by Betmods, a clothing company ran by the brother of Demna, Guram Gvasalia. Open your eyes, people. Not enough for you? LGBT has been one of the things driving extremism in the world. But there is one thing in common with every LGBT person. They've all used the dating app Grindr, the world's largest social networking app for LGBTQ people with over 70 million downloads. Grindr's CEO is George Arison, but that is not his real name. That name is actually an alias. George Arison's real name is Irakli Arashidze, born in Tbilisi in the Georgian SSR and later moved to the United States for his studies. Now you know who are actually the puppet masters. You see how easy it is? I can be way more schizophrenic than you. I think that the Unabomber posting is also a very federal agent move to find out who sympathizes with a terrorist and just track them down before they commit anything actually bad and put them on a watch list. Let me make this clear. Unabomber can suck my fucking he was not protecting humanity or nature by doing what he was doing. He cared less about saving humanity and cared more about just committing murders. We know this by his own journals. He was one of the worst humans to ever exist and people like to worship him just because they hate TikTok. I hate TikTok too. You know what I don't do? I don't go off aiming my rifle at a 3 year old kid and the only reason for not pulling the trigger is because I see her mother approaching and I'm worried I'd get arrested. You know, for a guy with an allegedly genius level IQ, he surely was shit at getting women and building bombs, which is what he made his whole personality about. One time at like 25, he got his first kiss and went on a few dates with a co-worker and when the girl told him the relationship was not gonna work out, he started putting post notes up in the office calling her a horrible human being and got warned by the boss like, hey, if you keep this up, we're gonna have to fire you. You can't keep insult posting in the office. And he kept it up and he got fired. He also sent a bomb to a university six times. Tell me again how dropping off a bomb at a university where any random person could come and pick it up and get exploded by it is supposed to help the earth and like when his bombs didn't work because he was a fucking idiot the only thing he got mad about was the fact that nobody died as a result of his bombs and they only got injured he was literally angry that his bombs were not lethal and his main point was to kill as much people as possible instead of save the earth he also tried to blow up a passenger jet full of people but his bomb did not go off because he was a fucking idiot who could not do any Thing right so people only got some smoke inhalation and everyone was fine tell me again how trying to blow up a passenger jet is supposed to be about the good of the earth B -b -b got to our airplanes make emissions i'm sure kaczynski was thinking about the greenhouse gas emissions that airplanes make when trying to blow up a plane full of civilians and also airplanes make such a low percentage of greenhouse gases it's minuscule compared to cars he would have had more impact blowing up a highway in texas and stopping traffic for a few days than if airplanes had shut off. He also targeted a professor at a university but the secretary picked up his package and the secretary was the victim and the only thing he was mad at was not that the intended target wasn't injured but the fact that whoever got injured did not die and that his bomb wasn't lethal. So the people Unabomber posting should be put on a watch list because this man was nothing more than a terrorist who could not get see. He, he should have just gone to a prostitute bro I keep telling y'all. I just want more people to understand Fedbait. Thank you all for watching. Like and Subscribe and goodbye. Don't be a bad job. Come on, give me a job, best man. Come on. You, you, I'm so good to you. Come on, job. Robura. Come on, come on, give me a robura. Come on, it's a war. Come on, it's a war.
Shem, what is the name of Shem? Shem, call Shem, sit here, Shem, 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 Shem,